Hello growers, I'm Dr. MJ Coco from CocoForCannabis.com. We publish articles, tutorials, and guides on the science and practice of growing cannabis. Today I'm testing the new Vipar Spectra XS1000. It's the latest and smallest addition to the XS series. These compact quantum board style fixtures are well made and feature top end components. Last fall I tested the Vipar Spectra XS1500. It earned a top pick for 2x2 foot coverage. This XS1000 draws only 120 watts. Will it be enough to light up a 2x2 grow space? In this review, I'll do an unboxing, run it through my official PAR test, and compare the new XS1000 to the XS1500. They're both great options and great deals if you need a little light. Grow light PAR testing is part of the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light Guide. Our goal is to educate growers about horticultural lighting. We conduct scientific grow light testing and publish reliable, science-based articles, reports, and reviews for home growers. You can read our GrowLight articles, try the GrowLight calculator, browse the GrowLight test reports, and find all our GrowLight discount codes. You support our work when you follow our links and use our codes when you shop for GrowLights. The Vipar Spectra XS1000 arrived in a compact box. It is well packed up with thick cardboard and then a foam pad. And there is the fixture. I'll lift it out of the box. It's a cute little light. As you can see, it's not very large, but size isn't everything. On the top side of the LED board, the XS series fixtures have a ribbed aluminum heat sink and a meanwhile driver. It's an attractive fixture. I like the silver finish. The meanwhile driver powers the Samsung LM301B diodes. Both are top of the line. It feels solid. I think it should perform well. I like the convenient dimmer on the XS series fixtures. It is continuously adjustable. The dimmer makes this a great light for seedlings and clones. I'll test it out after the PAR test. The driver on the XS1000 is a Meanwell XLG150HAB. It is small and efficient. I like the ribbed aluminum heat sink. There won't be too much heat, but this design will help to dissipate it better than a flat sheet. The XS1000 uses a total of 252 diodes. With a power draw of 120 watts, it has 2.1 diodes per watt, which is average. Other fixtures in this class have between 218 and 350 diodes. However, the XS1000 uses Samsung LM301B, which are among the best. We'll turn them on in a second. First, let's see what else we got. It looks like they packed the accessories in a separate box here, and the manual. In this little box, we have the expected gear. Ratchet pulleys, hanging cables, and a power cord. I'll spread it all out so we can take a look. It is a simple plug and play system. There's not much to it, just the fixture itself, a single power cord, and the pulleys and cables to help hang it up. For the PAR test, I'll use four ratchet pulleys. It gives me more control to hang the fixture precisely for the test. They clip into the holes here on the edge. It's a very light fixture, so it's very easy to hang up. I expect the hanging height to be pretty low, but we'll raise it up a bit so we can get a good look at the diodes. There is only one power cord to connect to the fixture. I plugged it in, and with a twist of the dimmer knob, we have light. The Vipar Spectra XS series are quantum board style fixtures. The diodes are spread evenly across the surface of the board. In larger spaces, I prefer LED bar array fixtures, but I like this style of fixture for smaller spaces. As I mentioned, the XS series fixtures feature Samsung LM301B diodes. They use both 3000K and 5000K full spectrum diodes. You can see the slight difference in their color temperature. They also include a few 660 nanometer red and 730 nanometer infrared diodes. Together, the diodes create an excellent spectrum for growing cannabis. LED diodes are more efficient when they're cold, so I have to let them warm up and stabilize. While we wait, Let's check out the product page for the XS1000. Here we are on the Vipar Spectra website. We can look for some data to estimate how the XS1000 will perform in my test and your gardens. First of all, you can see the cost is listed at about $130, but we have discount codes for the XS series on Amazon. Our discount code for the XS1000 is 10%. Shop Amazon and use code DrMJCoco10. Currently, your cost will be about $117. You might expect that the XS1000 draws 100 watts, but you can see here that the listed power draw is actually 120 watts. 
That means it will have a better chance to fully light a 2 by 2 foot space. If we want a better idea about how much light it will produce, we need data about the PPF or photon efficiency. Unfortunately, Vipar Spectra only provides PAR data in terms of PPFD. PPFD data will not help us to estimate the total output. But I already tested the larger XS1500 model. We can use that data to estimate. Let's head over to the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light Calculator. This is our tool to help growers analyze grow lights. In the calculator on the left, you can enter your own data. In the calculator on the right, we load all our tested fixtures. I'll pull up the data about the Vipar Spectra XS1500 from my test last fall. You can see it drew 153 watts at an efficiency of 1.83 micromoles per watt. We can use that efficiency to estimate the performance of the XS1000. I'll use the calculator on the left. The XS1000 has a published power draw of 120 watts. The efficiency data we're using is from a PAR test, so it's usable PPF. We're estimating the usable photon efficiency will be 1.83 micromoles per watt. To complete the comparison, we need the price data. Remember, we have discount codes for both of these models. With our codes, the XS1000 will cost about $117, and the XS1500 will cost about $147. You can see that the data for the two fixtures is very similar. The price per micromole is the same, and 53 cents per micromole is an excellent price. We estimate a benchmark harvest potential of 7.5 ounces from the XS1500, and about 6 ounces from the XS1000. They're both meant for 2x2 two two grow spaces, but the XS1500 rates for up to 4.3 square feet, while the XS1000 rates for only 3.4 square feet. It might be a little underpowered for a 2x2 two two test, but it should be close. I have the Vipar Spectra XS1000 set up in a 60x60 60 60 centimeter test area, which is just about 2 feet by 2 feet. I use one shorter wall so I have easier access and a better angle, but all the walls are higher than the fixture. I'm making sure that it is perfectly centered and level. The hanging height is only 28 and a half centimeters, about 11 and a quarter inches. And the maximum PPFD in the center here is exactly 1,000 micromoles per square meter. It's time to see what this XS1000 can do. I use an Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor to measure the density of PAR photons in each square in the grid. We're looking for values between 500 and 1,000 micromoles per square meter. If the density is less than 500, then the plants will not reach their full potential. Low density light leads to larvae buds. If the density is over 1,000 micromoles per square meter, then you risk exceeding the saturation point, which leads to photoinhibition and light burn. A good fixture can deliver a PPFD between 500 and 1,000 micromoles per square meter across the entire canopy it is meant to cover. In this test, the corners are just a little bit shy, but I think this is going to be a pretty good PAR map. Let's check it out. This PAR map is better than I thought it would be. The Vipar Spectra XS1000 comes very close to fully lighting the 2x2 two two foot area. The corners are below 500 micromoles per square meter, but they're close enough to power the growth of high quality buds. The XS1000 is going to be a great choice if you have modest harvest goals and you want to maximize efficiency. But if you're looking to maximize production, you can fit more light than this in your 2x2 two two tent. Let's compare this to the PAR map from the XS1500. This is a fully lit 2x2 grow space. With the XS1500, most of the canopy is in the maximum production zone, and the corners are all up in the 600s. With the XS1000, the center values are nearly the same. Both tests have a maximum PPFD of 1000 right in the middle, but the values along the edges are significantly lower. The XS1500 is a great choice if you have a 2x2 two two space and you want to maximize production. It will fill up a 2x2 two two grow tent with high density light. But the XS1000 will also produce a good harvest. I think the choice between these fixtures depends on your specific goals and budget. Let's run the numbers. As we saw, I had to hang the XS1000 pretty low. It was 28.5 centimeters above the sensor. That's about 8 centimeters lower than the XS1500 to get the same maximum PPFD of 1,000 micromoles per square meter. With the XS1000, the average PPFD was only 620 micromoles per square meter. This means that it delivered a total of 223.2 micromoles of usable light to the canopy. 
That's less than the XS 1500, but of course the XS 1000 also draws less power. I measured a power draw of only 117 watts, which means the XS 1000 has a usable photon efficiency of 1.91 micromoles per watt. This is somewhat higher than the XS 1500, which measured 1.83 micromoles per watt. So the XS 1000 is more efficient, but it's a smaller light. There are a few more things to review. Let's check out the test report page. I publish these test report pages for each fixture that I test. They include all the data and maps from the PAR tests and my written review. Here's the main data for the Vipar Spectra XS 1000. You can find our discount codes and shopping links. Remember, we have Amazon discount codes for all the XS and P series fixtures from Vipar Spectra. With our discount, the XS 1000 will cost only about $117, which is only 52 cents per micromole. It is certainly an excellent price. It's only $117 and you could harvest up to 6 ounces. Below this area, you'll find the detailed PAR test data and the PAR map. If you have a larger space, you can use this calculator to determine how many XS 1000s you'd need for full coverage. And below that, you'll find my written review. The Vipar Spectra XS 1000 is a great little light. I think almost every grower could find a good use for it. You can put it in a 2x2 space and use it for the full grow, or you can reserve it for your seedlings, clones, or mother plants. I appreciate the build quality on the XS series. The fixtures feel solid and well put together. The ribbed aluminum heat sinks are a nice upgrade for most fixtures in this class. They help to dissipate the heat. The highest temperatures I measured were 52.2 degrees Celsius, about 126 degrees Fahrenheit on the heat sink, and 58.3 degrees Celsius, about 137 degrees Fahrenheit, on the driver. The dimmer makes it ideal for raising seedlings. I tested the dimmer and found it to be very accurate. You can use this data to help dial in your dimmer settings during the seedling stage, or for clones. But if you're flowering, I recommend full power. If you are looking for a little light, the Vipar Spectra XS1000 or XS1500 are both great options. They're convenient to operate, well-designed and well-built, and they produce an excellent spread of light for indoor growing. They're high-efficiency fixtures at a really good price. At Cocoa for Cannabis, we always put the growers' interests first. Our goal is to provide impartial, science-based testing and reviews for home growers. We do not get paid for testing lights, but we do earn commissions when you make purchases using our codes. You can support our work simply by using our codes when you purchase grow lights. I'd like to thank Lane at Vipar Spectra for sending me the XS1000 to test. And thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other PAR test reports and grow light physics videos. And I hope you come to visit us at CocoaForCannabis.com. We publish articles, tutorials, and guides on the science and practice of growing cannabis. You can read our articles, chat with our community, browse the grow light test reports, and try your hand at the grow light calculator. You may be able to win this or other lights by participating in our grow challenges and strain review giveaways. I'm Dr. MJ Coco, sending all of you grower love.